The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Next Generation Firewall Made Simple for MSPs. I'm Sarah Duffy, the Marketing Manager here at Barracuda MSP, and I'm happy to be moderating today's session. Today, I am joined by Justin Reidenauer, Manager of Partner Success, and Mark Valier, a Systems Engineer here at Barracuda MSP. During today's interactive webinar, we will be discussing our next generation firewall features and functionality, as well as our managed firewall solution offering. Before we get started, let's do some brief housekeeping. During the webinar, if you have any questions, feel free to share them using the questions or chat panel to the right of the GoToWebinar screen. At the conclusion of the webinar, you will be prompted to complete a brief survey. Please take a moment to tell us what you think as we are continuously improving the content of our, the quality and content of our online events. Now, without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Justin to begin today's presentation. Take it away, Justin. Thank you, Sarah. And thanks again to, for, uh, to everyone who has joined today's webinar. Here's a quick look at our agenda. We're going to talk a little bit about Barracuda MSP and have a peek at the new services that have become available. Today, we'll be focusing on a brief high-level overview of our next generation firewall and our managed firewall solution. We'll have time for questions, so please enter them into your control panel as we're moving through the discussion. No security solution is perfect. We know that. A multi-layered defense is necessary to protect against multiple threat vectors, and you need to incorporate advanced threat protection into your solution. These advanced threats could be getting through. This is unfortunate for your clients. However, it creates new opportunities for you as an MSP. As the MSP dedicated business unit of Barracuda Networks, Barracuda MSP enables IT managed service providers to offer multi-leveled security and data protection services to their customers through our award-winning products and purpose-built MSP platform. Barracuda's MSPs Partner First Approach focuses on providing enablement resources, channel expertise, and a robust, scalable MSP solution designed around the way managed service providers create solutions and do business. On the right, we have our updated pinwheel. In our value proposition, we talk about security and data protection, which is now reflected in our pinwheel and matches the Barracuda's color scheme blue for security, orange for storage, and then MSP green as a wrap around everything we do and the echo platform at the center. On the left, we have our key differentiators, flexible IT solutions. This expands on our previous security backup messaging and puts us alongside bigger players in our market. Our partner first approach builds real mutual benef mutually beneficial relationships is at the core of what we do. We attribute this approach to our success. MSP growth simplified. This reminds us and our partners why we are in business. It's all about growth. And when you are able to pay and bill monthly as an MSP, you are making profit right out of the gate. So how do we accomplish this? Through our various products. The Echo platform, our rebrandable software-only data protection suite, is designed purely for MSPs to address the needs of SMBs. Our backup appliance, both physical and virtual, is scalable data protection that works with Windows, Macs, and Linux environments and is a turnkey, all-in-one subscri subscription-based solution. Essentials. Reinforce your hosted email offering with email security, backup, and archiving. Lastly, today we are going to focus on our next generation firewall. But first we'll get into our managed solution. On this screen, you'll see an overview of what is included to our partners who choose to use our managed firewall service. In this service, you will sell the firewall to your customers and we will monitor and, managing, or and manage it keeping you well informed along the way. So what's included? A pre-installation readiness check. You get implementation of each and every firewall. 
24 by 7 365 security event management, notification of any qualified threat in its remediation, alerts of any communication disruptions from on-site equipment to professional services team, and a monthly consolidated report on equipment, traffic, and application usage. You also get an exclusive phone line and email address for these services. Now, who is the service most valued to? There are quite a few use cases where you, we've seen uh, service providers jump right on board. These include service providers who want to offer next generation protection, but don't want to migrate or learn a new solution. Those who no longer have the capacity to effectively manage their firewalls or simply want to free up staff to work on other projects. One particularly fitting scenario is a service provider looking to capitalize on the security landscape that doesn't have a firewall offering, but wants to easily and quickly roll one out. For those partners, we enable them to provide round the clock protection and a level of human oversight on top of the firewall, resulting in fewer threats getting through and all the while taking no time out of your team's day. Again, if you're a VAR or a break fix provider looking to transition to managed, this is a great opportunity for you to add a managed service. But it's not just about the time saving or ability to roll out a new service. It's about showing your customers a clearer picture of what you are doing for them. And this service is enable, enables you to do that in a couple different ways. The monthly reported, uh, reporting included in these services lends itself very nicely as a customer facing document. You can gain a lot of insight from these and use them to have impactful conversations with your customers. A few of the items that show up on the report include detection intrusion, malware, botnet, and spyware, to name a few. Show them what you've stopped. This will help them realize that their investment in the firewall is a smart decision. And if your customer wants to get more insight into what's going on in their networks, the report clearly illustrates details on that. See what site employees are visiting, bandwidth consumption by user and application, and more. You can help your customers get information about uh, and address troublesome behavior or risky habits by looking at the report. For example, when you look at the reports of the categories where your customers' employees are spending their time, you're seeing the appropriate categories at the top of the list. This is a good thing, but the truth is, graphs like the bottom one show up where people are spending time on streaming media or gaming sites. This report lets you see this and gives your customer a chance to address it. Uh, similar to the URL category reports, you can also view specific applications that are in use by your customers' employees. This gives another valuable opportunity to address potential problem behaviors. One place to keep a close eye on is the risk rating of the site. If, you've, if you have a lot of people spending time on high-risk applications, it may be worth spending some extra education for the employee. Reports also feature overall risk seen by each firewall on a monthly basis. At a quick glance, you can tell if your customer is at risk. Uh, we can take you through a quick. Uh, we can take a quick look at this in practice with the illustration above. Uh, the dentist is having trouble bringing um, the reports and records to the patient visits. Um, and our reports show that there is an increase in malware back at the dentist office. And we can see that Joe Smith is actually uh, visiting fantasy football sites. And what we can do in that is the dentist can address that with their customer, but we're letting them know about this situation. To summarize, with this level of service, you make yourself the hero without having to invest hours into monitoring, remediating threats, or managing firewalls in general. We'd love to help you learn more about the service and to get you started using the reports to start impressing and adding even more value for your customers. But now let's check out our next generation firewall in action. Over to you, Mark.
Thanks, Justin. So, as Justin mentioned, we're just going to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at our next generation firewall. So, first we'll talk a little bit about the evolution of the firewall. In the beginning, a firewall was a simple um, input-output device that would uh, let an IP address uh, gain access or not. Uh, and then some antivirus scanning was put in there. Uh, but just uh, basic uh, scanning and antivirus and IP functionality. So what you can do with a basic router today. Um, the next evolution of the firewall uh, took into place uh, widening the scope by taking into account the port, uh, so what type of traffic was trying to access the network. And then additionally, looking even in more depth, uh, specific applications were then taken into account as well. Today, we've actually entered into the area of cloud-ready next-generation firewalls. This adds stuff like weight optimization capabilities, management, scalability, a wide variety of remote access, so you're able to check data quickly and easily, and securely uh, from a remote device. Uh, we also can't forget about the reporting features that are integrated uh, into the security technology, um, link balancing, and traffic intelligence. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about more features later. But all this needs to be available, even to your uh, small to the customer uh, without the need to backhaul traffic. So we need these cloud-ready next-generation firewalls to ensure business availability uh, to all of your customers at any time from anywhere. So today, with the focus on our next-gen firewall offering, uh, the base was laid by a company called Fion uh, in their NetSense product that was launched in 2001. But for over 16 years, we've been focusing uh, on the requirements and the needs of customers uh, to build their networks uh, scalably, um, provide ease of manageability and versatility with plenty of right out of the box features uh, that they can activate. Uh, some of the requirements back then are still valid now in terms of management and scalability, and in some cases are even more pressing. Our firewall is designed and built from the ground up to provide comprehensive next generation capabilities, cloud hosted content filtering, uh, offloading reporting, uh, compute intensive class uh, packs are taken to the cloud, so you're not going to have an impactful hit to your firewall, uh, if there's going to need to do some emulation for some advanced threat protection. Um, based on application visibility, user identity awareness, intrusion prevention, and centralized management, uh, the fire is really ideal for uh, a wide variety of customers. Uh, what's nice is it's a turnkey solution uh, to provide this full feature security set uh, for customers uh, preventing against advanced threat uh, with an all-in-one management console and subscription base uh, with the MSP model. Uh, so you're not going to deal with any of the upfront fees for these updates uh, with signatures or advanced threat protection features. Again, our firewall being designed with MSPs in mind for multiple locations, uh, each firewall can be controlled through a single centralized management platform, either managed by us or managed by ourselves. It really makes it easy to deploy common security policies across multiple units. Uh, the firewall is available in three different deployments, physical, virtual, and public cloud. And again, all subscription-based with no upfront fees. So now we'll talk about some of the key benefits of the next generation firewall. We need to improve network quality, increase visibility, protect the perimeter, and provide for deployment flexibility. So first up, improving network quality. Being able to intelligently route network traffic, uh, putting business critical traffic over a very reliable leaf while putting some of the less reliable social media uh, over less reliable leaf, ensuring that your business is constantly up and running, and keeping that bandwidth reserved uh, for the business traffic. So how does that work? So traditionally the method is that you would have one file at your location, multiple client locations, um, and within a control center, and within the control center you have this ability to provision rules, application control, all of these in tunneling, and all of the routing required within those networks for these multiple firewalls, and then give your customers control of what they need as far as revisions are concerned. So we have revision control built into the firewall so you can see what changes were made for rules. Uh, you can roll them back or, or make those changes and see who made those changes. Uh, so giving this flexibility from uh, a management perspective is great. Uh, you get complete control over your next-gen firewalls and all client locations, uh, making uh, that traffic transparent to you. And any changes can be done by yourself and then push them to your customers and give your customers a peace of mind Again, with all those monitoring tools and dashboards, you're able to uh, take a look and then demonstrate to them uh, that you're protecting their network. And lastly, if you have locations that are uh, on virtual servers, you can provide that firewall as a virtual appliance as well without any loss of feature or functionality. 
all men are in that same management console. Let's we'll talk about the increased set of visibility. Um, so again, the real benefit is real-time information and massive build-out capabilities, being able to see what people are doing on a user basis, what types of traffic are being generated, what types of attacks are, are being prevented. So uh, we can use a report creator, uh, which is an additional software that's freely available from our website. And you can make this report uh, as robust or as simple as possible um, using predefined categories uh, to create your own templates and make delivery settings easy for you. So you can provide this value to your customer. Uh, you can you know, even put your own logo on there on the top right, uh, showing them you're providing value to them. And then facilitate this conversation with them about what's been going on through their network. Maybe there's additional services that you could provide for them, or maybe uh, they need to take a look at adjusting some of their rules appropriately. Um, so it's nice to be able to offer that customization, uh, giving you the visibility that you can then provide that peace of mind to your customers. Next, we'll talk about our ease of management. So managing a set of firewalls for your customers is very simple. When our next generation firewall was designed, it was actually designed uh, with management at the core. Uh, our management control center has the ability to manage thousands and thousands of firewalls um, from this single pane of glass, uh, even with built-in templates, uh, what we call a repository, so that you can roll out multiple firewalls with the same base configurations to your customers at the same time. So often saving what could be uh, days or weeks worth of work uh, and putting them into just a couple minutes to make uh, rule changes or adjustments. Uh, the firewall rule sets and other security policies, software patches, version upgrades, all again centrally controlled to the management console. Uh, and then deployment can even be scheduled uh, at a certain time if you had a change window. Um, Everything is very highly customizable. Uh, you can allow various administrative roles to delegate different tasks to different administrators, giving them different capabilities uh, depending on, say, a department or a location. And then administrators are then kept informed at all times on the status of their gateways and then can log into the central management console to make any changes that they need. Uh, and like I mentioned before, this revision control system provides for easy audits uh, if you need to roll back something in the future. So another important thing is to protect the perimeter. Your customers are going to know what, want to know what their employees are doing in their network and when. Uh, so we have the capability to uh, do what's called SSL interception, being able to, to view uh, the traffic traveling through a secure tunnel to make sure that nothing that uh, you're not aware of is getting onto your network uh, without being inspected first. So you also have the capability to find what types of file types uh, come in, have uh, items checked in advance. If uh, behavior is not known, uh, we can offload it to our sandbox environment for our advanced protection service uh, to avoid any potential uh, new attack or day zero attack infecting your network in that way. Uh, we can also uh, detect what systems are trying to, you know, make calls home for a potential botnet and block those as well. So preventing any sort of command and control attack uh, or any openings uh, being put into your network that way. So from a security perspective, your customers can improve uh, their protection by integrating uh, what were previously disparate security functions? So web filtering, malware protection, email security, intrusion prevention, application control, uh, and then the advanced threat protection to protect against that zero day type of attack, uh, all integrated now into the single platform. Uh, the built-in intrusion prevention system um, enhances your network security by providing complete and comprehensive real-time network protection against a broad range of network threats, vulnerabilities, exploits, and exposures in operating systems, applications, and databases, things like F TL injection, uh, access control attempts, denial of service attacks, cross-site scripting, uh, directory traversal and probing, and backdoor attacks such as Trojans, rootkits, uh, viruses, worms, and spyware. Um, the malware protection covers those uh, viruses, worms, and Trojans, you know, malicious Java applets and programs, um, some using you know, exploits in something like a PDF, for pictures, office documents, macros, uh, really protected uh, any, from any type of software or malware that's going to try to infect your network that, again, we don't know the behavior of. So it's based upon a signature database that is continuously updated. And as these new uh, attacks are discovered through our advanced threat protection system, they're very quickly uh, transferred into signatures, transferred to our databases worldwide, and then pushed out to all the barricaded devices uh, throughout the world. So we have multiple hundreds of thousands of devices deployed throughout the world. Uh, and that allows us to not only remediate these 
attack very quickly because we see them uh, from all different locations, but then very quickly protect all of our other customers and devices. So it's very possible that uh, an initial attack could occur in one place. Uh, it would go through this process through advanced threat protection. Uh, this new signature would be created and then pushed out to all the barricaded devices so that uh, by the time the second attack had taken place, you're already protected from it. And so, again, highlighting that um, zero day, zero hour uh, type of protection that you're going to receive with this uh, technology. So on that, we can talk a little bit more about our advanced threat protection. Uh, so this, as I mentioned before, is a full system uh, emulation providing deep visibility into malware behavior. Files are checked against a cryptographic cache database that is consistently updated. Uh, in case the file is unknown, it is emulated in a virtual sandbox uh, where the malicious behavior can be discovered. So uh, it's running through a lot of operating systems, uh, emulation, emulation, speeding up time, mouse movement, basically just detonating this file uh, to see what its true behavior is. So advanced threat protection offers the granular file type based control, uh, including automatic quarantine can be set up, blacklisting features, uh, just maintaining the highest level of protection uh, for your customers. Um, again, preventing the malicious files, the day zero attacks, such granular control over file types, uh, interoperability with our SSL interception uh, and inspection, uh, the cloud-based simulation, uh, dynamic learning, uh, the multiple OS environments that we can emulate, automatic email notifications can be configured. And again, to highlight, again, this is available in physical, virtual, and public cloud. So it all ties together and you're providing that same uh, feature set and protection and reliability uh, regardless of how it's deployed. We'll talk a little bit about our web filtering. Uh, this option enables uh, high granular real-time visibility into the online activity. Uh, so it can be broken down into individual users and applications, and you'll let uh, you as an administrator uh, create and enforce effective internet content and access policies. It protects user productivity, blocks malware, uh, downloads, and other web-based threats, and enables compliance by blocking access to unwanted websites and servers or various categories, again, providing an important additional layer of security alongside our application control. Uh, as was mentioned before, not only being able to block or allow something, but uh, provide a warning continue notification uh, if a customer might not be uh, doing anything malicious, but maybe it's a site that your client uh, as ownership doesn't want uh, them to have access to, like uh, checking um, fantasy sports scores in the middle of the day. <laughs> As a managed service provider, you have complete control over what's going on. You can give these valuable reports back to the customer, let them know uh, the situation and what's using all their bandwidth. So if, for example, we found that in one location, Facebook is using a huge amount of their network, uh, you've got this tool that you can hand to them and say, uh, most of your bandwidth is being used by Facebook. Uh, let's talk about this. What can we do to adjust this? Or if this is unacceptable to you, well, what's a good plan that we can put in to remediate? Uh, and so keeping this available and saying it's good for all your customers and being able to have that conversation uh, is very uh, a very nice feature to have. And also, if people are having problems right away, uh, we can use our management tools to view real-time traffic uh, going through the firewall and then uh, do remediations right away, whether it be um, killing a stream of traffic or even dynamically adjusting the QoS on a type of traffic so it's no longer allowed to be a bandwidth on. Um, so it's a very nice capability to get people back on track immediately, and then maybe down the road, uh, talk a little bit more in depth about how they want to handle this situation if it ever comes up in the future, or if we just need to make some rules and implement them over change windows. And again, as I highlighted before, flexible deployment is key. You're not losing any uh, features. So if you've got customers that have full wiring closets, uh, you know, the physical device is a great fit. Uh, but if they don't, they don't want anything on premises, uh, we're able to uh, deploy it in the cloud, Azure, AWS, uh, or if they have a, just a, maybe just a couple servers, um, we can do it in the virtual environment as well. So um, plenty of options and it's uh, all going to be able to meet their needs uh, from a security and uh, throughput perspective. Uh, VPN tunneling uh, is a very, very important uh, tool for a lot of clients with multiple sites. Uh, Barracuda has a great custom interface so you can set up dynamically uh, connecting VPN tunnels with a simple click and drag. So we can 
uh, see on the diagram, if all those were selected, we can drag them into that box below and it will dynamically build all of those uh, VPN tunnels. So instead of having to do the traditional IP set tunnel where there are multiple things that you're going to need to configure uh, to make sure that that tunnel is going to come up right away, uh, there's just a lot of different options. And if one of those options uh, is incorrectly configured, that tunnel won't put up and then you have to build out the troubleshooting. So a key advantage with this management platform is that the control center knows all the settings on all the devices it is managing. So it's then able to dynamically build these types of types tunnels uh, very quickly and easily um, build them up and take them down and make moves, ads, and changes uh, much, much easier uh, for you and your customers. Uh, from a client-to-site perspective, we've got uh, a lot of versatility here as well. Uh, we've got a full client uh, basically built for your uh, operating systems, your workstations, uh, work workstations type operating systems like uh, Windows, Linux, uh, Mac, OS X. Um, so that's one option. Uh, we also have what's something called CUDA Launch, which is uh, for SSL VPN, mobile devices, uh, your tablets, your cellular phones, uh, that can be very easily installed. Uh, and then we have an SSL VPN, so uh, operating system independent. You can customize your own website. Uh, you can put on your own logo or your warning or, or welcoming message, uh, and then have people securely connect that way. So a lot of versatility built in uh, with VPN services. So this is a really nice uh, use case shown here. Um, you can see a customer is having trouble uh, with the security company no longer providing updates. Uh, so it's not meeting customer needs as well as compliance needs. Uh, and so what, what would happen in that situation is that uh, this company would be forced to essentially either uh, buy a new firewall and then have to pay for all those licenses for all the services again, uh, and then have that huge cost that they're gonna have to try to recoup from their customer. Uh, whereas in the very good MSP situation, uh, we're going to address all of that. So we're going to have that consistent monthly model that you're paying into. All the licensing is already included, so you're not going to have to worry about the updates not coming through or that uh, being an issue. Uh, and then, you know, after a year, that device can be swapped out if that customer grows and they need a larger device, and you just pay an incremental difference in the public cost or in the, the cost of that monthly firewall so that uh, any changes that happen down the road uh, aren't going to be a huge upfront cost to you. Um, it can all be predictably dealt with and managed. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit of an eye chart, but we've got really something that's going to uh, fit any customer or client you need. Uh, from an operating system standpoint and management, uh, all of the function features are the same across the whole portfolio. So it makes it really nice if you're, like I mentioned before, having to have one customer grow a little bit, so you need a larger model. Uh, you're not going to have to learn a new set of commands or a new uh, way of doing things. It's all consistent across the board. So it uh, makes uh, growing and, and configuring uh, quite a bit easier than some of the other um, competitors in the market these days. As you can see with the, uh, the no limits, uh, we also had uh, you know, no limit or restrictions on our, our site to site tunnels or our client to site users. It's all just included in the licensing. So really it just comes down to sizing it. So you're never going to create a bottleneck for your customer's network. Everything else uh, is really just dependent on what you're going to have uh, from a hardware perspective and what your uh, customer's traffic is going to generate. So really nice flexibility and capability there. So just uh, to wrap up in summary, uh, that central management, it drastically lowers the time spent deploying your patches, uh, managing updates, uh, making changes, uh, the deployment costs, um, using the management of the control center, rolling out multiple devices at the same time can be done in a much shorter period of time. And the operating costs, you know, significantly reduce uh, the cost of managing uh, the various functionalities that different clients will need. And then let's not forget the managed firewall services, uh, providing all the flexibility you'll need. If, for instance, you need to have a security offering and maybe you don't have an expertise in security right now, uh, we can do it in a do a touch model for you. We have an initial conversation, and then it's in our hands, and we deliver you the report, and you have that peace of mind knowing that there's a human element in there 24 7. And as we mentioned before, 
Uh, Therapeutic MSP, we focus on product solutions, subscription tools and services for the MSP market. Uh, as a partner, you get exclusive access to our partner toolkit, which is packed uh, full of resources, uh, searchable knowledge base, fast troubleshooting and revolution, plenty of uh, sales and marketing enablement materials where you can find rebrandable uh, pieces of information and collateral for different campaigns. And then the toolkit also gets refreshed consistently uh, as new technology is developed. Uh, you also have access to our Barracuda Campus Portal for um, uh, training and certification curriculum. Uh, again, this is all free and included uh, as a valued partner. Uh, we want to ed educate you not only on Barracuda products, but also on the security market in general, because we feel that uh, the more people who are educated about security are going to make uh, the world environment um, safer and secure for everyone. So from the time of onboarding and beyond, we are committed to our partner success. Uh, you'll find you have a dedicated partner success manager and account manager. Uh, that's going to help ensure that you're positioned for success. And we have an exclusive community open to partners uh, full of resources and education, uh, best practices training, and networking. Um, and with that, any questions? 